the new template menu. General Tools. Manage borders from the Enhance and Dropout tabs. Here we are in Darkroom. Let's click on the Photo Workshop and then the Enhance tab. With the addition of the Template Marketplace, there are additional template features built into Darkroom. Notice on the right side of the screen, the Template menu is different. This Template menu is available in both the Enhance tab that we're in right now and in the Dropout tab for when we're using green screen. Let's go back to the Enhance tab and go through all the buttons of the template menu. Clicking on will turn a border on. It's asking for a caption for this thank you card. We'll say love Bill and Jenna. Say OK. If we click the arrow button, it will go to the next border in this catalog. We'll say OK and here's another thank you card. Let's hit the arrow one more time and now we're going to have a calendar. These are all templates that I've bought from the template marketplace. Now let's say we want to change the custom text at the bottom of the template. We simply click text and type in a new message. We'll type in love is beautiful year round. Say OK. And here's our finished template. From here we can turn the border off with the off button and we're back to the original photo. The next part of the updated template menu is the border drop-down menu. This menu has been updated to be shorter and more condensed but with all the tools you still need. In addition, new shortcut keys shown on the right speed up the template process even more. The pencil tool link directly to the template workshop. Let's switch to a new photo. Let's pick the soccer kid. Our next new feature is the pencil tool. This tool will help us build borders on the fly. When the picture is showing by itself like this, by clicking the pencil button, we will jump directly to the template workshop without having to navigate through the setup tab. So let's go ahead and click the pencil. Here we can create a custom template for this photo. Any template can be created, but for this example, we'll make a simple white frame for the photo. So let's just title it white frame. We'll say OK. Here we'll just add one simple picture right in the middle using these predefined masks. And here we have our frame. We'll say apply changes, and the template is immediately applied to the photo. Now let's apply one of the soccer borders we already purchased from the template marketplace. We'll come back to that page in a minute. It's asking for the child's name and the team. Steve Tate Falcons. We'll say OK. Here we have our bag tag. Now when we click the pencil tool, once a border is already applied, it acts a little different. Let's go ahead and click the pencil and the entire border and the graphic comes into the template workshop. Now for the first time, photographers can edit templates with the pictures applied within the template workshop. Now let's add a school, the school mascot to this bag tag. So we'll go ahead and add a graphic. We're going to browse for the falcon head. Here we are at the graphic. We'll just put it right between the, the student's name and the team. And we'll say apply changes. And now the changes have instantly been applied to the template and the graphic within it. The magnifying glass. View both local borders and the template marketplace. The next main tool is the magnifying glass. Let's go ahead and click on the magnifying glass. Clicking the magnifying glass opens both your local borders and the template marketplace. The top portion displays all your current border catalogs. The bottom portion displays the template marketplace. Let's go through the top portion of the screen. 
The very top of the screen has two tabs, which lets you switch between local borders and online templates. For now, let's go back to the local borders group. On the very right is a slider bar that lets you change the sizes of the borders you're viewing according to preference. The tabs along the second row show the current catalog you're in. Right now, we're in the Sample Borders catalog under Edge Effects. You can quickly switch to the other subgroupings. We can go to Green Screen, Classic Frames, etc. Next, the Options menu gives you all the options of working with your current local borders, including changing groups. Here we can change our catalogs. We're going to switch over to Purchase Borders, and here are all our Purchase Border groups. We have our sports border, there's our bag tag we bought, there's the greeting cards, magazines, green screen. Now let's check out the bottom of the screen, our new template marketplace. Now photographers can easily find the templates they need in an easy to use system similar to iTunes and other online storefronts. Over 700 templates are available for sale and immediate download from a variety of industry-leading graphics partners. Here at the top is a search feature to easily find the templates you're looking for. The next row shows the, the most popular categories. Here are the most popular templates that have been downloaded. We can also select the most popular groupings, sports, holiday, baby, etc. We even have a recommended tab that shows some of the feature templates from the template marketplace. This bottom screen shows a sampling of the templates available. To view all the templates in a category, simply click Online Templates, that second tab from above, or click on the bottom right, View More. That sums it up for the new template menu, available in the new release of Darkroom, version 8.9. Today, we learned about the general tools of the new template menu, managing borders from the Enhance and Dropout tabs. From there, we learned about the new Pencil tool and linking directly to the template workshop. Then, we learned about the magnifying glass, viewing both local borders and the new template marketplace. Thanks for joining us today. For more information, feel free to call us at 888-584-0089 or visit us on the web at expressdigital.com.